so hi friend this is amit and you are watching my channel information and educational video so in this video i will talk about the second shift analysis of the july 25 uh, jmens examination 2021 as you all know the phase 3 of the jmens 2021 is going on so here is the analysis of the paper of the shift 2 of july 25 i have already uploaded the similar analysis for the shift 1 also about the previous shift analysis you can check in the i button as well as in the description box so, so here i will also talk about the difficulty level subject wise according to the according to the student reaction that I have got from different type of a student by watching this video you can ex you can get the expected cutoff for the JE advanced examination as well as well as for the expected marks versus percentile what percentile you can get based on the expected marks that you are expecting after the examination and also you will get the uh, topic with more question and the topic which are easy that we, that has been covered in this uh, in this shift so so you will get all the information in this video so please try to subscribe this channel if you are first to my channel and try to share this video to your friends so they can also get this information and i have already uploaded many nit's cutoff video triple it's cutoff video you can check in the i button as well as in the description box so let's start this video so here is the 25th July SIP 2 analysis. So try to listen the listen my words carefully so that you so, so that you will get the complete information about the July 25th SIP, second SIP paper. So here is the math was moderate. It was the first time that math was slightly easier than the other SIP. So that so that will have the effect on overall difficulty level of the paper also. But in this SIP the math was moderate, neither hard, neither easy. It was moderate. And many question in paper was solvable so so that overall difficulty of the math paper was moderate neither hard neither easy but there was some easy question also that i will talk so uh, there was 11 easy question moderate 13 and tough 6 question and easy question we are from probability matrices determinant vector 3d so if you haven't covered this topic try to cover it so that you can use this in the next step or if you are targeting the next phase of the examination then also you can get the benefit because there will be question from this topic for sure and the and the syllabus uniformly distributed as, as the case of the earlier shift also and in this shift also every chapter have at least one question more than one question also so physics was easy to moderate it is not moderate it is easy to moderate so there was 11 easy question 12 moderate question and 7 tough questions so there was some question from uh, some question from thermodynamics and the current electricity also so in part of the physics syllabus is modern physics so if you haven't covered it please cover it because modern physics have 5 to 6 question in every shift and in this shift also and there, those are easy question you can attempt it and you can you can get the good marks by without wasting any time now if you talk about chemistry chemistry was easy to moderate there were some some tricky question and some question we are from outside NCRT. Uh, generally, all question of chemistry uh, are is used to be from NCRT book itself. But uh, but in today's shift, there was some uh, two or three question that was from out of the NCRT syllabus. So you can expect that uh, there may be some uh, some tricky question in the next shift also. But overall, chemistry was easy to moderate, not easy. Is it? It is easy to moderate. So next, if you talk about the number of easy question, we are eleven. Moderate question thirteen, and tough question we are six. So overall paper, overall paper difficulty level was moderate to easy. This is the first time among all the shift of this July attempt the difficulty level of the paper is moderate to easy. That is neither uh, neither moderate nor difficult is moderate to easy. So this this will have a, have an effect on the expected cutoff for the J advance also and also on the marks versus percentile that I will talk later in this video. Next, if you talk about where you can get the NIT triple IT CFTI cutoff video, you can get in this channel only. You have you just need to go to my channel playlist. You will find all type of video that is all type of cutoff video there is different playlist for different type of cutoff video. you can check all all those video in the free time so that you can estimate yourself which type of uh, an it or gfti triple it with which branch you can get and next i will upload the video about the minimum marks that you need to score in order to get an uh, an it triple it gfti with cs branch or at least any other branch for all the category general ews obc sc st all category i will cover male and female also so stay tuned for that video and please try to subscribe this channel so now talk about the expected uh, cutoff marks and the percentile percentile will remain same for all the shift and all the phase but marks depend on the difficulty level of the paper so as the difficulty lo level of this paper is slightly easier so you have to score slightly higher marks to get the uh, cutoff clear for the j advance so here is the category wise marks that you need to a score in order to be eligible for the J advance exam so if you are from general you have to a score at least 118 to 120 marks to be eligible for the J advance exam and rest you can check uh, by pausing this video 
so next is max versus percentile expected for this shift only in my each shift analysis video you will get the expected cutoff for j advance as well as the max versus percentile data particularly for that shift and after completing all the shift i will make the uh, video for all shift in one video th so that you can you can compare all shift uh, difficulty level easily so here is the marks versus percentile data so as the paper was slightly easier uh, than the other shift it is not as uh, easiest but it is slightly easier than the previous shift so you have to score i think uh, 10 or 5 marks more uh, to get the same percentile as compared to the last shift so here is some more data for marks versus percentile so check it by pausing this video and try to subscribe the channel so that you will get the all the information about JE mains other entrance exam other counseling also in this channel only so please try to subscribe and share this video to your friends so that they can also get this information